put in pink and the one glittery things. Attention Dunwall citizens, following direct contact with an infected or weeping individual, you are required to remain in isolation for two continuous days. If signs of infection occur, report for transport to the flooded district. Okay, so it only takes two days after exposure to know if you're infected or not. That's actually interesting. Fetus is practically just a baby. It's fine. Could go over. I don't wanna save the lady. It's closed off right now, isn't it? Cold as a whaler's gaff hand. Fifty years old at least. So this guy fought for the Empire. Forget his old ass. I can't even remember the Empire. We tagged it plain. Under Clavering Street is our. Come on. Kill each other. What's the take? Twenty. Plus two elixir. Look like twenty-five to me. Look here. It's twenty. It's five each, counting boo. You want me to check your pockets? Let it go, kid. Don't call me kid. You think you can cheat me? Come on, let's get this guy. Die! <laughs> let's see what's inside. They <laughs> have swords, but they'd rather spit fire at each that other. Ha, you're the one that just knocked him out. What? I mean, I could just knock them out manually, but this is so much easier. God, I love sleep darts. You just died. There's a dying sound.
Is it on? What's it look like? Blow off, Hayburn. Go on. Toss the damn rat already. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> You bunch of children. Basically, just going through this in the same way I would usually do it. I'm not really doing anything different this time. Just getting through the levels in the most familiar way. Is anything I'm doing particularly surprising or unusual in your eyes? I'm always curious to see if the different ways people play these things. No, it's just ridiculous. Come on, I know I can get on rats. Plague. Elixir, bunch of crap. Huh? <laughs> you can't see me, goddammit. Piss off. Oiling these things doesn't last long enough. I kind of loot them all just for the cash. Of course, you know, wanting to loot them all means I use a lot of sleep darts. And sleep darts cost money, so therefore I need to loot them. We found this strange room on a woman who used to sell pastries up the street. Fanny, no! Agility 2, which is another true rooms. Then time's always good. But dark vision. I don't really need dark vision, I know pretty much everything already, but still, dark vision. Which reminds me. The great ships have stopped bringing their hulls. stuff in there, get the other room. The 
Obwohl, doch ein Matto. Kopf ist nah. this again when I come out of the distillery. Oh well. Am I looking for uh else is fine. Shadows in front of me. That guy Dowd? Ain't he just a boss? Like Slackjaw? No, no. This is one odd bird. Consorts with crazies, does rituals and the like, bone charms and such. You sound afraid. Damn right I am. Dowd ain't no ordinary man. Touched by the outsider he is, <laughs> given dark powers. He can slit your throat across the room. Well, that'd give him a leg up for sure. It's no coincidence that most men won't even whisper his name. Is it true that he lives in the flooded district? With them weepers and wild hounds? That's what they say. Perfect place for a paid killer to hide. What are you looking at? Stewart's 3rd Regiment, Estate District. You don't need luck. Face like a hagfish. Pay up. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixirs done. You'll want to check on things. 
Then you better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. asking him some questions. Come on, you need to be blue. His father was one of the first to die of the plague. A street thug, a knife for hire. This one cooks rats over a trash fire when he can't find anyone to draw. Come on, Zishu. Come on, way of exploring the world. Actually, the horror of eventually realizing what it is and where it comes from.
they train the overseers to be real. Crazy. He just wants to know where his brother's from. He sneaks in. You know where it is. Throw you in at it when he's sober. I remember. Brimsley job. Hidden a dumbwaiter all night. Yeah. <laughs> so he goes from room to room. Kids sleeping. An overseer giving a lecture to the kids. A couple guys training with those hounds. Stuff you'd expect. But it gets weird. Some kind of machinery. Then a woman laughing. Just laughing and laughing. Then music. A kind of plinky, plonky sound. That's what's spooked him. You sure he wasn't drunk? Says he still hears it at night. He never did find his brother. Loudly they made quite a riot. The nobleman's wife took the butchering knife and carved herself some peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, I get it. The wife done kind of both, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the gist. Now it's your turn. Oh, uh, let me think. I like him. He's so patient with the dumb idiot. Okay. Yeah, I got one. Ready? I'm listening. There once was a sailor from Orland who fancied a woman most sorely. He gave her his cash, she gave him a rash, and that's all. There isn't no more. <laughs> all right, you win. You win. He well, did I not. Know a hundred of these old rats. My mummy used to tell him that. I like Jules better about the wife killing the maid and the husband. I'll move over here. The only problem is, of course, trying to find. The fuck are you looking at? Blow off, chopper! Gods that are willing to stand in one place long enough to actually get a read on it without attacking you. The heart. Bloody ass. Picked up anything good? Shut up. Move your butt, teeny. I'm surprised you never had that before, but yeah. Uh, Come this big idiots.
usually have dark vision on. Is it nine? It must be nine. Family, Griff. Mom's house, it's closed down now. Nellie and Morris Sullivan. I'm going to assume that's the woman who lost her husband and children. Morris and Elise and what was her son's name? Richard or something. I don't remember. One in the house nearby. Sound of the rain on the roof. Very relaxing. There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once, distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. The brothels sprang up around the distilleries. They are inseparable. What have you done to me? There is a strong drink made here. I tried it once, distilled from river crusts by the taste of it. I don't get into fights, I'm terrible at fighting because I don't remember the buttons. God damn it. He never saw anything. Some of his friends probably turned on him. I've already got the ghost achievement, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
I have a heart attack. I literally have no idea how to fight with the sword because I just never do. I usually just reload if I ever get into a comeback system. So I'm just. I have no idea what buttons block, what buttons swing. I don't know what I'm doing. Meet your love boy. Ow. I probably should have gone back to Granny Rags and gotten the thing, but shit, can I do that afterwards? Will she give it to me when she's I think she will. Let's check. I'm gonna go back and get it anyway. I could just use the extra boost. Especially since I'm going out the other way. God damn it, why didn't I think of that earlier? Do you have any additional thoughts on our garbage children in this garbage AU? Open, so I don't know if you're writing a post or something. Never, never, never. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs, dear one. Oh, the sweet good good present. Holiness. <laughs> I was wondering what the fuck a pastry card was. Is that what she does when she gets off the boat? <laughs> or she just happens to be in the city? And that's her actual back on. Mm, Bull on a watch uniform. Mm. It's quite a bit like the uh, ball outfit, really. 
Más que en sus huesos. Yeah, I know how much you hate straight lines. Hello, Martin. I hear the second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? Or the rats? Jasper, isn't it? It's not so bad in here. Except I miss your wife. Ha! Huh. You don't scare easy, I'll give you that. But that'll change. I knew we picked the right man. You're not my friend, Martin. I don't trust you. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. We can get them for free from Havelock. Uh, poor circulation, and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so I'd appreciate it if you could release me or at least go gather some firewood. You never appreciate the fine masonry of Dunwall's cobblestones until you've had your face hanging over them for days on end. Nothing would make me happier than joining you and the others, especially if they've tapped some of the finer kegs still left at the pub. The lever is just to my right here. Outsider's eyes, but these things chafe. Free me, and I swear I'll dedicate myself to our common cause. You mean you weren't already dedicated? Only together can we end the Lord Regent and see young Lady Emily on the throne. With you as our sword arm, and I have full faith in our efforts. I'd appreciate it if you could release me. It's the only way we can undo the wrongs done to you and to the daughter of the Empress. Are you sure? I have a lot of begging lines. There are a few brave enough to, to laugh in the outsider's face, face. but T. Martin is one. Do, Do not be deceived by his talk of strictures. Martin's crimes weigh heavy, heavy on his spirit. He has been, been a soldier, a highway robber, and a man of faith. He wonders which is more powerful, the knife or the tongue. He always had his sights set on the Abbey's highest office. There are few brave enough to laugh in the outsider's face, but T. Martin is one. Do not be deceived by his talk of strictures. Martin's crimes weigh heavy on his spirit. Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily, so kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerr now. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the Boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. How exactly do you get back there without Sam? He has been a soldier, a highway robber, and a man of faith. I 
was just reading in the archive about the heretic's brand. It sounds painful. Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. A former member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer, or even the high overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, brother. Poor oh, brainwashed little overseers. Squad after what happened last night? Indeed, I believe so. I'm not sure that's something to be proud of. Why are you shitting bigger huh? than a rat? Doesn't sound healthy. Come on. I know I'm gorgeous. Stop staring. It's kind of awkward. It's so tempting to drop assassinate you. Just sitting there looking all innocent. Case. Jeff Kernow is a troublemaker, don't you know? This area, or I can just go around it. 
Hmm. I'm not sure I could bother clearing at all. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Never doubt it. Can I do a Deus Ex double takedown? Ah. Cut. 